Hey, this is the Dish Breakdown, where I break down a dish so you never have to rely on a recipe again. And today we're breaking down gourmet macaroni and cheese. That's what good put- When you're making macaroni and cheese from scratch, make sure to choose your cheese wisely. And by that, I mean that each cheese needs to serve a different purpose. For my mac and cheese, I generally go by the rule that one needs to be extra sharp, one needs to be a little funky, and one needs to be extremely creamy. It's also important that you do the dirty work and grate your own cheese. Otherwise, your cheese sauce might end up lumpy. And just like your cheese, it is also important that you choose your pasta shape with intention. You'll want to choose a shape that's perfect for gripping all of that cheesy sauce. And when it comes to cook time, undercook it by one to two minutes. Now, when it comes to creating the base of a perfectly creamy sauce, start off by making a roux, which can be equal parts fat and flour. This means if I'm adding three tablespoons of butter, I'm also adding three tablespoons of flour. Once your roux cooks for about one to two minutes, you'll add in your milk to create a bechamel. Now, as a rule, three tablespoons of fat and flour can thicken up to four cups of milk, but if you want a thicker sauce, add less liquid. Once your bechamel is nappe, which means it can coat the back of a spoon, season it up and add whatever additional flavorings you'd like, and then turn off the heat. Once it's off heat, add in all of your cheese, and it's important to do this off heat, otherwise your sauce may end up gritty. And if you're wondering how much to use of everything, just use enough. To finish cooking your mac and cheese in the oven, place it in a baking dish and then top it with something fun. This can be garlic bread crumbs, more cheese, whatever you'd like, and place it in a preheated oven that's just hot enough. And to see if it's finished cooking, don't just rely on the bubbling sides. Instead, take a knife and stick it in the center. If the knife comes out hot, your mac and cheese is ready to serve.